Hey folks! As promised, this is a quick overview makeup tutorial that anyone in our chorus this year can use. Sailors, feel free to use anything that's applicable to you and skip all the rest. No blue eyeshadow for you. I'm going to take the time now to point out that while we as a makeup team are absolutely here to help you at any point in the application process, if you dare ask any of us for a full face of makeup, we'll make you rue the day you were born. Thank you! So, first things first, foundation. I've decided to use my hand in this take because my skin without foundation is absolutely horrifying and you don't need to see that. So, just take a glob and with patting motions, blend it into your face. Mask the entire thing, don't leave any out. If you're going lighter or darker in shade because you can't find your exact tone, go darker. The lights will wash you out. But Lynn, now my face is all tacky. Well, good thing we thought of that. Step two. Finishing powder is your best friend. Take it on a brush, apply it liberally to anywhere you've put foundation until it starts feeling like skin again. Then you should be able to start layering product over top of it without it clinging and doing weird stuff. And then bada bing, bada boom, your base makeup's all done. Or maybe not. I realized while I was editing this that I completely forgot to film how I do my eyebrows. So here's a crude mock-up. I take a dark powder on this fine angled brush and Oh boy, here comes my acne being blown up on a big screen. I am following along the underline of my eyebrows to give myself sort of a map for where to go next. And then I'm just filling in from there. It's super simple, not rocket science. Our next step is contour, adding as much depth to your face as possible. Taking a dark powder like this one, you're really just gonna fill in all of the hollows of your face. That's your cheekbones, and under your chin, and your nose, primarily. I tend to get kind of particular about this step just because I have kind of a weird face shape, so take all the time you need with this step, put extra care into it, and figure out what works for your face. I like to shadow in my temples as well. It just gives my face a deeper look. And now delving into the eyeshadow, I'm using this big palette just out of ease because there's so many colors, but I'm using this pale blue all over my lid and pressing motions with my finger because I feel like my finger just gives me the most pigmentation I can possibly get. Uh, and you kind of want max pigmentation considering there are gonna be people looking at you from the back of the house. But I'm just taking this darker blue and I am filling in my crease mostly because I have really deep set eyes. So I feel like dark eyeshadows like these ones just sort of give me a little bit more depth there and bring my lids a little further to the front. A common rookie mistake when working with bright colors like blue when it comes to eyeshadow is not taking enough time with your blending. Really work the shadow together. Make it melt. An important part of theater makeup is big eyes. So using a white pencil, line your waterline, and then using your favorite eyeliner, whatever that might be, line along your eyes with a vague cap formation. Don't go crazy with the wing, but give it a little bit of a flick. Take your time with this step, but trust yourself. This doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. The goal with this mild cat eye is simply to make it look like your eyes are slightly extended. Not like crazy, not to make you look cartoonish, but just enough. Once you've finished with that, you can start on the bottom line, leaving a slight gap between where you begin and your waterline start drawing another tiny cat eye. Another easy way to enlarge the eye is an inner corner highlight. I'm just taking my favorite highlighting powder and pressing it into the inner corners of my eyes. Mascara is crucial. Cake it on. When I say cake it, I mean cake it. If you're not wearing falsies, you need your eyelashes to be as close to falsies as humanly possible. And now, blush. When it comes to blush, you really can't have enough. It puts the life back into your face from all the foundation that's been caked onto it. So, go ham. Uh, swipe it on in a diagonal motion, just because it's more period accurate, really. 
and do what you like from there. This bit's kind of fun. Make the look your own. I'm adding sort of a freckle thing there, just kind of because I felt like it looked cute. And now I am lining my lips. I'm overlining just a bit because I feel like you need to exaggerate all of your features if you're going to be on stage. Whip out your favorite wine colored lipstick and pop on a little bit of highlight for some extra sparkle if you like. And you're ready to go.